Now, this might be the biggest update since GPT-4. What them folks over there at OpenAI has done, they have put together two different AI programs that now allow you to create images within ChatGPT. So they took Dolly and now took ChatGPT, blended together. You can put prompts inside of ChatGPT and create awesome, high-quality images. This right here is going to be a game-changer. I've been using it, and I wanted to show you a little bit how you can use it step-by-step step to start growing and skilling your design business. Let's jump into the software right now. All right, so to do this, you're going to need GPT+, Plus, right? Chat GPT+, Plus is what you're going to need. That means you need the paid version of the software, all right? So all you got to do over here, you just come over to GPT-4, and you hover over it, and work your way down to Dolly 3. This is in beta right now. So imagine what's going to happen when this thing actually starts into its full version. So I'm going to hit beta over here. So right now I can just type in a, a prompt. So let's say we want to get, it says create, press, enter. So now ChatGPT is advanced enough to go ahead and create the prompts for you. Dolly is creating the images for you. And from here now, it's going to create four different images for us to be able to choose from. Okay, so now here we go. It created the four images right here just from that prompt. All right, so to look at these images here, it's going to go from left to right, right, top to bottom. So this first one right here with the black and white version, that's number one. And then the second one here is number two three at the bottom, and then four. All right, so from here now, we can go in and modify these images a little bit or ask for more. All right, so let's say we want more. We can just type in the just, just the word more in here, and ChatGPT is going to go back in and is going to create more of those images. All right, so you can see now we got four more images here. So to reference this, I'm going to ask ChatGPT. Here goes one, two, three. I'm going to chat ChatGPT. I, I like number three. Create this in a park scene and press the button there. So now ChatGPT is going to go in and it's create something similar. It's not going to be the same exact image but it's going to do something similar for with the same concept or the same type of type of image that we got in number three here so let's see what it does okay so here we go it gave us four more images here you can see number one we got a we got the lion we got the lion boy on the in the park right in the nice horizontal type image format and now when you click on the image here you can see over onto the right side, it gives you the actual prompt, right? Or you can just hit this button up top here and download this image into your computer. Or we can go to number four here. This one right here is good for maybe like a book cover or something like that, right? If you like that, you can just hit the download button and it downloads onto your computer. All right, so let's take it one more step, right? Can we actually add text to these images so i'm gonna say add the text say his name to the images all right so we're gonna see what it creates with say his name to the images so you can definitely add text to these. They might not be perfect at first, right? But you can literally keep modifying this thing until you get exactly what you want. With this here, I was able to create some awesome images like this and something like that. And now I have stuff that just mocks up my brand. And this is awesome right here. So if you found value to this video, go ahead, smash the like button. Let me know in the comments, are you using this chat GPT feature right here? If not, how do you plan on using it? Let's talk about this in the comments. And don't forget, subscribe. Wow. Look at this. So now it gives us the text, right? There's no text in this first one, so it clearly it messed up there, right? But we got 
This one right here is in black and white. This is cool. A cool, like, newspaper article type style. I like that. Or we got this one down here. Say his name, you know, in the talking bubble. Or this third one right here, right? So all these here are good images that you can use for, for something, right? You can change this. Maybe you want to create a, a 3D person on a horse in the wild, wild west. Let's see what we get. All right, so we're going to create a 3D person riding a horse on or uh, in the Wild Wild West. Maybe I should have said riding the horse. I just said on a horse. So we'll see what we get. Here we go. We got some high quality ones here. You got that one. We got this one here. That's a high quality image right there. That image right there is sweet, right? You can just swap through them. Look at this. This looks like a movie thriller. I mean, paper or something, a, a movie paper, a movie thumbnail or something like that. You feel me? So now, this is all cool, right? What we can do now, this else, actually, you can create different formats and create square or you can create horizontal. So we're going to say, give me one in the style of number two and add the text horse and make it a square format. Let's see. <laughs> Whoa, this is crazy look at this man like this is a high quality image look at the proportion of these the word horse over here and then the actual wow the way the person is sitting on the horse this whole composition right here is just clean this is like on point man so right now you can go ahead and delete this or copy this onto your computer download it you can take the prompt right here copy this prompt and add more to it. Maybe you want the same image here. You want to alter it a little bit. So if you want to copy this here and bring it in. Or maybe we want to make this image. This exact image here. We don't want to do much. We just want to make this horizontal. Except I can't spell it. Make it a horizontal image. Let's see what it does. This here looks like a whole movie named Horse. This is the movie cover right here yo this is crazy this right here is crazy like it literally looks like a movie cover don't it wow it's amazing ai all right let's see what we get oh man now look it, this one here got messed up right so we missed we messed up something here you can see it's missing the letter but everything else is on point even though it's missing the letter here we can go in and say d e e or just say i like the image but the word horse is misspelled. Please recreate. Let's see what it does. Can it recreate it from just that prompt? Because horse is clearly spelled wrong. Let's see what we get on this second shot. I know what we're going to do. We're going to do one more. And we're going to pretend as if it's the thumbnail for this video. And we're going to do... We're going to have it say chat GPT. Let's see if it does it. <laughs> I'm just going to give it another shot. So it, it still spelled it wrong, right? It gives out another one here. It still spelled it wrong. All right. So now I'm going to tell it, give me the same image in that style. But this time I want the text to be chat GPT. Let's see what it says. Get this. Except chat GPT has got two P's. It's a little misspelled, but this is crazy. I'm going to keep messing with this because I want this to be the, the thumbnail. The text is misspelled. Please add the text as chat GPT. Can it do it? Can it actually do it? I don't know. Can it do it? Ah, that was so close, though. Look how close this was. This was so close. This image looks so good. Uh, this is so close. I just want one that says ChatGPT nice and clean, and we're going to use that for the thumbnail. Come on. Now I got no text. Wow. All right, you can see clearly there's, it's not perfect yet. It's in beta form. But it says, we apologize for the oversight. 
the correct 3D render of the word ChatGPT accurately display. Please let me. All right. So let's regenerate. We're going to hit regenerate and see if it actually gives us what we want. We want it to be ChatGPT. This is something you can probably take into Illustrator or Photoshop or something and, and Photoshop it up real quick, but I don't want to mess with the composition over here. Yes, it did it. So if did it, here it goes. It literally says chat GPT. It finally did it when I recreated it and hit the regenerate. So this here is awesome. Look how, how easy this, this was, right? It does, it does take a few shots sometimes, you know, but you can, you can get it done. I'm going to regenerate one more time and see what we get. I want the chat GPT to be like this one was perfect. Like this one here was a good, I love the way this setup was like the, composition everything was cool here but it just was spelled wrong so let's see what we can get and again if you find value to this video go ahead hit the like button on this let me know in the comments ah we got two t's we got two t's we gotta go in again we gotta go in again all right so i'm gonna take it one more step right so let's say we want to change that sun to the moon change now i'm going to tell it to change the moon right change the sun to the moon and add the text chat gpt oh then get it we got the moon so we definitely got the moon it's still not perfect with the text like it's still not perfect with the text but everything else is on point but we gonna keep messing with it. I was really trying to get it to create the thumbnail of this video, but it clearly is having issues. But you see what you can do now. Shout out to the folks over there at OpenAI, how they're now able to give us the, the, the advantage that we need, right? Like we're now able to go into ChatGPT and use it for more than just text prompt. We can just go ahead and ask for a thing and it's gonna create the images for us this is amazing again let me know in the chat how you're going to be using this if you found value to this video go ahead share it with somebody don't forget to subscribe and like it i'll see y'all on the next one